Mango Math presents LCM and LCD for fifth grade. LCM and LCD is a number sense game that works on for students to learn about equivalent fractions by understanding the least common denominator. So some math terms to help guide, in, guide you in understanding this better. LCM stands for least common multiple, the small, smallest number that is the multiple of two or more other numbers. Multiple is a number made by multiplying two whole numbers larger than one. LCD stands for least common multiple or the de of the denominator, the smallest number into which the denominator will divide exactly. Then the denominator is a bottom number in a fraction indicating the number of parts in a whole. Okay, so from this information, we'll be able to play this. The supplies that are in the pouch are a deck of cards, a dry erase marker, and an LCD game board. To start this activity, we're going to need a judge and player one and player two, so three players. What we're going to do is work on least common multiple to begin with, and we're going to play this game similar to the game War in which the players will be dealt two cards face up and they will look at the two cards and then determine what is the least common multiple of those two cards. And they will say it as soon as they know it, they'll say it aloud. So in this case, one player says 12 and one player says 24. It is then up to the judge to determine who is correct. And the correct one in this one would be the 12 um, the 12 because uh, 4 can go into 12 and 6 can go into 12 so it's the least common um, multiple of each of those numbers. 24 is just the multiplication of 4 and 6 and it is also a multiple of those numbers but it's not the least common multiple it's not the smallest common multiple. So once the judge has determined who is correct that person then collects the card from the other person and they put it on their side. So they'll continually collect cards, and the person with the most cards is the winner. They have another set of cards. I have a two and an eight. So where the judge is there to determine, one person says eight, one person says 16. The judge will determine who is correct. In that case, it is eight, because two can go into eight, and eight can go into eight, so that's the least common multiple. And so that person then collects that card, and they continue on. Now, to change this into the least common denominator, we'll stick with those three players, and you will need the game board. So what we're gonna do is, once again, we're gonna deal out the two cards. The players are gonna determine out of the nine and the six, what's the least common multiple. They're going to say it, and let's say they both say 18 at the same time. Whoever said it first, which is player number two, said it first, they will collect the cards only if they get the next part right. So then they will use their game boards. They'll each be given a game board. They can both write 18 down in on their game board as the least common denominator. And now they have to tell us what is being divided into that 18, what times six is gonna go into 18. So 18 divided by six, basically, I'm gonna have, um, a dividend of, or my quotient will be what? And in this case, it's going to be three. And in the other case, it's going to be two. So 18 divided by six is three. 18 divided by nine is two. So I'm gonna to have to multiply that side by two and this other game board by three. So it's getting kids to understand least common denominator and then also what they're going to have to multiply by in order to get a equivalent fraction. So that's the gist of this game. And then the player who comes up with this correct answer down at the three gets both cards. Not that they got the 18 correct, which I hope they got that also correct, but that they get the three correct and they can gain car the cards. If you want to do it on both things, they can get the collect cards for the 18, like we did in the other game with the least common multiple but then gain another point for getting the three correct on the game board. So they could actually get, get two points on this uh, round or a point each. 
So that's the gist of this one. It's really getting kids to think quickly about what is the least common multiple of the least common denominator. Some guided questions to promote critical thinking, explain the meaning of LCM and LCD, how are they related and on how are they different if they think they are. And once you have an LCD and have multiplied the numerator by the factor, what type of fraction did you create? So getting kids to understand how this relates to fractions. So enjoy.